Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to obtain iOS app logs without connecting to your Mac. Many a times it is required to test an app on different devices, but at times it is not feasible to connect every device to the Mac. Then question arises, how can we get the app logs? So for that, we can embed a way in app itself to get us mailed all the generated app logs from the app. Now I'll provide you step-by-step -step process to get app logs. So let's get started. First of all, we'll launch Xcode editor and then click upon create a new Xcode project. After that, I'm selecting here single view application project. I'm naming it as test logs and choosing the language as Swift for the project. Okay, so it's been created in the desktop right. Yeah, so we are having the project like this here. Now, what to do? First of all, uh, find the app delegate file in the project and define global function and variable here. Some one variable and one function. Like the variable will be for public, which is which I'm naming as log file path. This will contain the path of the file. Hello, mm. part of the file where the logs will be written into. So now I'm creating uh, a function which is also a global function named as print. It is the of print function which is overriding the print function all where in the project. So This is the separator, this is the type of a string and the value will be like blank of it. This is another variable which is also having type as a string. Right, and the value will be the new line character so that it would be somewhat formatted. You will see in the logs. And this is the function definition. We'll go here. Let's say um, output joint the separator as this all right and as lock and we are just uh, printing here the output variable in as lock all right then another uh, function we'll define here in the in the app delegate file uh, not as global but as a lo local function I'm defining it here you can define anywhere in the class scope so the, I'm naming it as print the data at log file. All right, and then we will define the definition, and this method will basically do uh, write all the logs into a file. Which, which, which is where you know the path of the file is contained by the log file path variable of us which is defined already as global so here we are uh, using temporary directory for once so expanding the string Yeah, with format mm. 
this is the name this will be the name of the file and the extension will be like dot log Running for dictionary. Also, I have uh, logged again a variable uh, log file path here, and now we'll just open the file. Log file path as in the string. Okay, and I'll save for the like string using the string. Did include it. The string that encoding that ask you to draw it. I'm in another parameter. So yeah, this is writing the uh, writing into the log file path. So after defining this method, we will call it from did finish launch before returning a statement as like the name is print the data. Yeah, so I have called it. Now what will be happen uh, as it is defined in the function that all the logs, all the print function or calls <coughs> will be written into the log file path. The file with the path as written in the log file path variable. So, if you will print any anything here after writing it to the file, like I am writing here test logs terminal. So, as in the normal case, it should be you know printed into the console here below. But in this case now, it will be it will not shown it will not be shown here in the console and it will be written into the Different file in the bundle, and which is name, which which is which which path, which path, and the path of path of the file will be written into the this variable. So let's run it first and see what has happened. Yeah, as you can see, this has been launched. This application has been launched and. Normally, the logs, all the print functions should be shown in the console here. But here we are not finding any test log, any print function, print calls here. We are just finding the print calls before writing into the project, into the file. As we are printing the log file path, so this has been uh, logged in, logged into the console. If we'll find in into the file then what will be happened this has been created into some path we can get it by the logs we, we can get it by printing the log file path in this method so here we can find the logs what we are printing in our project as con which as in the normal case it should be printed in the console logs and here it is not printing in the console area and directly it is printing into the file it is right written into the file and now what will be happen the user can actually uh, get a chance to mail this file to the developer or say user can be the tester or the developer or the any of any uh, any user which is ha who is having the phone on which you are testing your app as we have already written all the logs into the file whose path is contained by this log file path variable so now 
we are going to the very view controller grid suite and we'll write here a very simple function let's say name let's name it as share document this method will will you know uh, present the mail composer or say activity view controller for mailing to the for mailing to the developer all the app log file and yeah so here the parameter will be like document path let's say which is the type which is of the type as a string so in method we are going to write the code for presenting activity view controller First of all, we freely check for the file existence at this path, which is being taken as the parameter. <sighs> now we have created a variable of URL. Find URL at path as document path is having something then that activity activity controller activity view controller is the type of activity view controller all right Is having the array of this type and here we are passing nil into it and then we will just pop over the present controller as it could be nil so we take this annotation here and then so that you Inside the view, we'll present it. What we are going to present activity view controller animated row, and then completion. Let's escape for the now for the time being. In else part, if this is the file is not existed, then what will we do? We'll just print for the error logs like document was not found. Okay, now we'll define an, another function in the same view controller and uh, let's name it as. All options because this method is going to provide all the options of uh, for sharing in action sheet now let's say that alert I'm creating here an alert controller and presenting just like this it's the title is please select an option mm, let's assign message as well and prefer sheet as action sheet now we will create we we'll add the actions to this alert controller my alert action log mail one option can be for log mail and one can be for the dismiss it
voila action in self document share document and we are just passing the log file path here in this document path variable parameter so now we will just add in another action so I'm going to copy it from here copy and paste okay, another action name will be dismiss and the style can be cancel or dismiss and in this action we can just print normally that user has clicked dismiss button all right after this we will present our alert controller and animated it as true completion for the timing I'm having as then here so yeah this is the definition of the function now after defining functions for sharing the document and giving the all the options as as in the action sheet we will just define an IB action function in the view controller let's say press for uh, logs and here we will take the sender of type any right and in this method we will call our all options method which will show user the action sheet for for showing the option as dismiss or log the mail and after clicking upon the log mail here this method will be called which will again show an activity view controller to the user and let the user mail the file containing all the app logs to the developer and yeah so let's run it first but before running uh, what we have to do like we have shown all these things and we have called in the press for logs IB action method so we have to link this IB action method to some to some button or some to some controller so that uh, it can be so that user can you know access it so in the main view main storyboard we are going to take a button in this and just linking this button section with this IB action press for logs so this has been linked and now if we click upon it the user will click upon the button so what will be happened this method will be called which will show uh, this an action sheet with dismiss and share document options log mail options so after clicking upon the log mail again then uh, mail composer will be opened and the log file can be mailed to the developer so here as a user I'm clicking upon this button and getting this action sheet I can dismiss it also I can uh, click upon the log mail so that an activity view controller will be shown for mailing so yeah as in the simulator it could not be so in the real device we the user can get uh, get the mail composer also and can mail the log file to the developer so yeah that's it thank you also I'm sharing blog link for the same in videos description so please find and you can see you can go through with the blog also